Hello everyone, MC Tammer here with a sneak peek at another unreleased mod of mine that I got burned out on and stopped actively developing, but I still wanted to share it with you anyway. A couple years ago, I started to develop an interest in the aesthetic of liminal spaces, places that exist in the transitionary threshold between destinations or between waking and dreaming. These are places that your eyes just kind of gloss over and your mind edits out, that you pass through without even noticing or forget as soon as you wake up. When made consciously aware of them, liminal spaces tend to feel lonely, disorienting, and vaguely unsettling, like you're trespassing somewhere that you're not supposed to be. Uh, a deserted airport terminal, or a shopping mall after hours, or maybe a vacant waiting room. There exists a subset within this aesthetic called liminal pools, uh, sometimes also called the dream pools, that I find particularly fascinating. As the name suggests, these are the kind of warped, ethereal swimming pools that you might see in your dreams. Slick white tiles, the hollow rhythmic drip of water, sounds of distant splashing, a faint tang of chlorine in the air, and ghostly water shimmers dancing on the ceiling. With this mod, I wanted to capture that fuzzy, dreamlike feeling and turn it into a kind of puzzle game, like those Escape the Room flash games from the early 2000s, uh, in particular the Submachine series by uh, Matthias Skutnik. But I hit a roadblock when I realized that I suck at designing puzzles. A lot of those flash games were pixel hunting item collectathons, which don't really translate too well into the new Vegas engine, since an activation prompt appears on your screen whenever you get near something interactive. I wanted to make a game where the player has to use their brain rather than the character finding items. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not really clever enough to come up with good puzzles. The only one I could think of was something like, in order to open a blocked door, you had to somehow use a cipher to decode the combination to a safe, which has a valve handle inside. And by attaching the valve handle to a valve, you could turn on the water, and the pressure of it would blow open the door. But yeah, if you have any other ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and show you around what I've managed to make so far. I might chime in if I have any interesting information to share, but otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tour.